Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Thank you so much for being here today in this safe space. Now, we're here to discuss a dispute between Emily and Brittany. So I would like to thank you all for coming here today, you representatives of the two young ladies. My name is Brienne. I will be mediating this with Kimberly. And you can call me Brie. We're all friends here. Yeah, my name's Kimberly. Like I said, you can call me Kimberly. And I'm so glad that you guys all came here to join us to clear everything out and for it to be a safe space for all of us. Again, whenever you guys are ready, you can introduce yourselves. My name is Brittany, and I was the one that was accused of doing drugs, like a drug dealer that everyone found out in my whole entire school and ruined every single opportunity for me forever. My name is Leah Salazar. I'm Brittany's uh, appointment attorney. Uh, you can call me Lee. My name is Emily, and um, I am Brittany's friend, and I did my best to help her in the best I could. I'm the one who said that she was doing drugs at the time. I'm Kate. I'm Emily's attorney, and you can call me Kate. Well, I would like to open today by allowing Brittany to give her side of the story. So, you can begin. I had it all. I had everything. I was a cheerleader. Everyone knew me. And then a rumor was spread that I did drugs. Everyone knows that my brother did do drugs and it affected my whole entire family. Me the most. Everything just, it happened so quickly. It was incredible. I don't know, my friends, well, ex-friends, we just stopped being friends after I quit the cheer team because of problems, my brother, like I said, and I made new friends who were really supportive and they were there for me through everything. We went to incredible parties. My ex-friends, they were boring, they did nothing. But with my new friends, I had fun. I went out, I drank a lot. We had fun, we played a lot of games. That just all ended of a false accusation that was made. And it just ruined everything. All my chances into getting the, to the best schools I ever could have dreamed of, the schools that I was dreaming of since I was a little kid, were all ruined because of a rumor that was spread for absolutely no reason besides jealousy. I just can't believe it, especially for me. You now, may I ask, you mentioned something about drinking. Can you share what went on? Not alcohol, just, not just alcohol. normal, not alcohol. I would never drink. Which what is, she was trying to say is regular party beverages. Regular beverages. What, what just like, like beverages? soda with like mm -hmm. really good gummies everyone drank it it had no alcohol involved i would never so you would say that you don't partake in any illegal substances for someone my age. client is not a law breaker she is a law abiding person okay so how do these rumors that have been spread how do they make you feel betrayed upset sad hurt in every single possible way that a person could be broken i'm broke i have no one i sit home alone and do nothing all of the time my teachers they used to greet me every single morning and now they don't even look at me they don't, no one acknowledges me anymore it's just it's hurting so how do you feel that you can get your so to say reputation back I don't know tell everyone that it was a lie give I don't know I just want everyone to know that <laughs> it wasn't true hello was my name is Emily Spread, and I accused my friend of being a drug user and a drug user as well for me it's just unfair me and Brittany were always friends when we were on the cheerleading squad we were always friends we've always had a good connection we've been Hello. friends for my a long time and so i would I never use something that i thought it wasn't 
me and Brittany. So we're always Brittany, friends. When we were on the cheer cheerleading squad, squad, we were always I was friends. sad, We've always but I would never do anything for a long that I time. thought was so I wrong never for her. Or something that you know, I thought was it. Brittany, <laughs> um, she started hanging out with a different group of friends, so and they are troublemakers. She quit the cheer. They are usually squad. known for I was sad, big but parties, I would never and do anything illegal things that I thought was wrong i i was doing what i thought could help britney britney and um, i saw that britney herself group of started acting really stuck up made. and her whole attitude are started really changing for everything that she was hardly started changing so i thought things. in general, in general me i i was doing, doing what, what i did could help would help britney. her and it would help and her i saw that she, I knew that she had started problems. acting really stuck and i knew up. that in general her brother had problems with uh, Everything that she was doing general. started I changing. Didn't, I didn't so I thought that, that it would hurt her like me. It is doing what I did. That I thought would she help her and it would help her with illegal substances as well. I knew that she had problems. I am, I'm really and I sorry that today general, because I her brother to hurt you in that way. I would never uh, do that no, in a way that I would hurt you or demean your personality. That it would hurt her like the way it is. Wanted to go to the fact that I thought and I know how long you wanted to leave two different things as well. And I know how this is like this. I'm really sorry, but I thought because this I didn't mean to hurt my way of helping you. I would never because I in a way that would hurt you. Have to mean your personality because I know how long you <laughs> wanted to go to different places, everything that happened. and I know how long you wanted so, to do different so things, and I know how this like has hurt you. But I thought that this was my way of helping like, you so sorry, because I thought you mean needed to help. Do that to her, because she doesn't deserve it. <laughs> She's a good person, but everything I just happened. I just wanted to help her in any way that I could, so, and that was the only like way that I thought yourself. I could help her. I would just like to tell her I'm sorry because I didn't mean to do that to her in general. Cause she doesn't deserve it. She's a good person, but I just I just wanted to help her in any way that I could, and that was the only way that I thought I could help her. Why? This in no way helped me. All it did was hurt me. The way you said that I was changing, that I was acting different, I'm still me. Will always still be me. Yes, I hang out with new people, but you know for a fact that none of those people do anything illegal. I pick and choose good friends. The way you said that I was changing, that I was acting different, I'm still me. I will always still be me. Yes, I hang out with new people. But you know for a fact that none of those people do anything illegal. I pick and choose good friends. I'm just sad that I choose to as one. Her heart is a good very sad for Brittany who has obviously chosen people who will hurt her eventually later in life, who will betray, betray her, and that's not her fault. She, uh, her heart is a good person. Um, I feel that I know what I did was wrong, and in no way can I justify that. But I can say that as a friend, I tried my best. I, I tried, and I'm so sorry that this affected you in the way that it did. I guess I didn't know it was going to. I know what I did was wrong, and in no way can I justify that. But I can say that as a friend, I tried my best. I, I tried, and I'm so sorry that this affected you in the way that it did. Because I didn't know it was going to. Okay, um, so is there anything that y'all would like to point out about what you think would be best to remember the situation? Did you ever think, was there a specific moment where you realized that she might have been jealous of you or where you got the idea of them? I think ever since I quit the treatment that was just like, obviously, I was one of the better people, no offense. But I think she was just jealous of what I had. Had it all. I had puppies. Had a great grade. Had good. Well, had good friends. Everyone saw me. I was a resident. Everyone liked me. And she was just. What you call a side character as a person that she would like to She made us care as my friend. What she wanted me to do. 
addition to that, the offer you will have that Emily submit a written statement that would clear your name. Was that um, so that your Emily your fear, which I, I see and completely valid, your fear of not true, so. making it into and the university. In addition to that, to get you, will have Emily you won't have to worry about that. You won't have to worry about any possible uh, um, collaborations so with law enforcement or with that which I, I see. So I, see. so I would like to ask you, of not does that sound university fair like to, to you. get into? You won't have to worry about that. You won't have to worry about any possible uh, collaborations with law enforcement. We'll get that. Well, she'd be admitting that she lied. So I would like to ask you, does that yes. sound fair? Does that sound appropriate? Yeah. Apology and 
Well, you can do it. We're so. in St. Nick for the morning. Would you like to shake all of your hands? Will she be able to watch you like? You're coming here today. I'm so glad that we could resolve the situation. You are very strong, young ladies. Thank you. Well, keep contending with yourself. I'd like to shake all of your hands. Thank you so much for coming here today. I'm so glad that we could resolve the situation. You are very strong, young ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now.